hello. Today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite genres of outfits, airplane outfits. Plane outfit, airport outfit, travel outfit, whatever you want to call it. I tend to put a lot of thought into my travel outfit uh, for a couple reasons. First, you never know who you're going to run into. And second, I like to feel fabulous and comfortable when I'm traveling. Okay, and third, and I don't know if this is an irrational fear, but I'm always afraid that we're going to get stuck somewhere or have to go through some crazy delay and I'll be stuck in this outfit for days. And if I'm going to be stuck in it, I want to feel fabulous in it. So here I've put together a few rules of thumb that I like to follow when putting together my airport outfit. As always, I have outfit info throughout, so make sure to stay tuned till the end. The first and most important rule when airport dressing is comfort over everything. You want to be comfortable when you travel. So for this reason, I tend to choose clothes that are a bit more oversized, more comfortable materials, have more stretch in them so that I can be overall comfortable over everything. The second rule of thumb that is related is nothing too tight. You don't want to feel squeezed into your clothes while you are being squeezed into a middle seat on the airplane. You want to be comfortable over everything, so make sure that you are not wearing things that are too tight. You are going to wear non-leggings, non-sweat non -sweat pants. I would tend to go for those trousers that have a looser fit so that you are comfortable. The third rule, which I have heard time and time again is dress in layers and this goes both ways with all of the flights getting stuck on the tarmac these days you want to make sure that you're able to take something off to um, cool down and help um, moderate your body temperature you also want to make sure that you are dressing in layers on top of what you're wearing so that you have an option if the plane gets too cold during long flights the fourth tip is really important if you are a cereal overpacker like me, and that is to wear things that you are going to also wear at your destination. So by that, I mean things like sneakers or boots or jackets, things that you maybe want to save some space on in your carry-on or your check luggage. Um, you can easily wear that on the plane and make it part of your plane outfit. I'll especially do this with bigger jackets like my trench coat and my leather jacket that you'll see here that are kind of a pain to roll up and put in the suitcase and sort of fit awkwardly and take up a lot of space. The fifth and final tip is to choose minimal accessories. So you'll see here that I have my watch that I wear on travel days. I also like to wear minimal earrings and a little bit of a minimal necklace. Um, just to make sure that when you're you know walking through the airport nothing sort of comes off and falls off of you and also when you're sleeping i hate the feeling of having a big earring sort of poking at you so minimal accessories on travel days is a must and there you have it five tips for picking those tricky plane outfits number one comfort over everything number two nothing too tight number three dress in layers Number four, wear things that you are going to wear at your destination also. And number five, choose minimal accessories for your travel outfit. Let me know which tip you think you'll use and like and subscribe.